Today's Testaccio is a bustling inner city neighborhood that still retains its charm. Recently, a new market building was constructed for the neighborhood. As so often happens in Rome, when you start building something new, you find remains of the ancient city. These are now still visible beneath the market. Italian archaeologist Renato Sebastiani directed the scientific excavations at the site before the market was built. Okay, we go down 2,000 years. He has generously accompanied us on a visit to this hidden world preserved under the modern building. Look, this is the part of the recycling areas. Of the, of Here, goods from all over the Mediterranean were unloaded. The fluid goods were transported in large ceramic containers, amphora, which upon arrival in Rome were thrown away. What Renato and his team has found is nothing less than an ancient large-scale recycling center, where the Romans found new uses for these containers. Okay, we are in a dumping area, in a great dumping area, but really is a recycling uh, area because these amphoras are like the plastic bottle of today, are very cheap products and standardized products and using for transport oil, wine, uh, fish sauce, the so-called garum. And after uh, their original use, they reused in different form. Uh, particularly in architectural and, uh, and in building uh, constructions. In this case, they are used like bricks to made, uh, to build walls, walls uh, that closed open areas full of uh, rubbish used, reused in architectural uh, uh, functions. For example, for made concrete uh, is the final reuse of this material. Ceramics is very uh, uh, difficult to, to, to destroy it because it's possible to fragment, 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 uh, but there is not a chemical form of destruction of this. And this is the, the similarity with the bottle, plastic bottle of today.